Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Today's video is about a not so money maker, which is the porcupine, which can be harvested year round for the quills. We will go through the description of the porcupine, pricing, how to trap, and how to take the quills out. Be sure to check out your state's specific regulations on hunting or trapping. In our particular state, Minnesota, they are an unprotected species. If you guys enjoy these types of videos, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and help us out. Also, we have a merch shop now, so if you look below the video, it's right there. Got cool hoodies and other apparel, and all goes towards the channel. Porcupines, despite a very slow walking pace and a low reproductive rate, its coat of long, sharp quills enables the porcupine to live a long life by protecting it from predators. As soon as the quails are dry, a newborn porcupine can defend itself from some predators. Adults use their stiff quills as braces to help them climb trees. The quills have many barbs. A single porcupine may have as many as 39,000 barbs. Adults weigh in from 18 to 35 pounds. Males seek receptive females beginning in late fall. Females may announce their readiness to breed by screaming from a treetop. A single young is born in the spring that already has its eyes open and its complete set of quills. Twins do not occur in the porcupine world. There may be several porcupines in a square mile of forest habitat. During summer, porcupines eat leaves, nuts, and berries. During other seasons, favorite foods are bark, buds, and needles of trees. Sometimes, porcupines strip bark to the extent that the tree will die. A fun fact about porcupines, they will eat almost anything. Salty items are consumed with relish including axe handles, canoe paddles, outhouses, and even automobile radiator hoses. The main states that are found and harvested in are Washington, Oregon, Montana, Utah, Idaho, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming, Nevada. All states have marketable porcupine hairs. Eastern Montana and Western Dakotas have exceptionally nice porcupines. If anybody has experience with these porcupines, feel free to share it down in the comments below. For plucking the quails, they pluck fairly easy when freshly dispatched. Just like anything else, there is a learning curve. Focus on the longer hair. Forget about anything under 5 to 6 inches. Grab a few hairs by the tip and give them a quick yank. Hairs should come right out. Continue until all long hair is removed. Once you get the technique down, you should be able to pluck an adult porcupine in 10 to 15 minutes. Average adult porcupines are about 3 to 4 ounces of hair. The hair must be plucked or pulled. Hair that is cut off has no value. The fresher the hair, the better. Hair from decaying porcupines that has lost most of its color really have no value. Keep the pulled hair neat and orderly. Root ends all the same way. Tie it on a small bundle to keep it neat. Jumbled and messy hair, again, has very little value. Guard hair should be clean. No underfur mixed in. You can accomplish this by grabbing just the tips of the hair. If you grab too far down, you will get underfur mixed in. Cleaning underfur from pulling hair is tedious and time consuming. For trapping them, the number 220 or 330 conibear body gripping trap can be baited with salted soaked material or placed in dent entrances to catch and kill porcupines. Care must be taken to avoid taking non-target animals since salt attracts many different prey. Pricing western porcupines with good hair are worth about $8 on the carcass or with some work you can get $25 an ounce for the long yellow tipped guard hair, $3 for adult skulls and $5 per ounce for the quills. A particular trapper averaged close to $30 for adults. The going price if selling hair to a dealer is $20 an ounce for nice hair. You can get more for the really long hair, 9 inch and longer, but then you will be hard pressed to find a buyer with the shorter hair. Besides selling to dealers, you can also sell in auctions in your state trapping association, eBay, and craft shows. Thanks again for watching this episode of Outdoor Experience, and we'll catch you on the next one.